hello my awesome cancerians i hope you're doing wonderful i missed you guys cancerians you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate <clears throat> so first we're gonna ask what's coming towards you cancer what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey second part of this video <clears throat> we're gonna ask about your soulmate whoever it is you thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently <clears throat> relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what are they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you cancerians universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer for Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Cancer in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming towards Cancer in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one is looking at me. Ask important extra message. <clears throat> this is your quiet. This is your retreating in solitude making wise decisions about your life, observing everything, listening to your own instincts, your intuition, your divine guidance that you get. Yeah, this is you feeling that you need to observe everything carefully, everything that's happening around you in the world. This is you trying to make wise decisions for yourself, your loved ones. This is, especially since this is showing up in position one, this is you trying to Use absolute wisdom to make right decisions. You don't want to make any mistakes, any errors, if you can avoid it. Yeah. Yeah, this is you going within. Um, trusting your own wisdom. Yeah. Not looking for anybody else to answer your questions for you. Wow. So, hmm. So it's, it looks like you lost hope that your soulmate will reach out to you. This is uh, showing up as you not having much faith in your soulmate relationship at this time. Um, yeah, you guys left off uh, on kind of, uh, I don't want to say toxic, but hectic. Uh, grounds yeah this this shows dissatisfaction this shows um, disappointment yeah uh, between you two let me see what's going on here you were hoping that this person would communicate with you yeah you are very disappointed in this connection because you were hoping that this would end up being a long-term relationship for you with this person you were hoping this would be long-term relationship you are quiet you're not reaching out to this person on purpose you're holding back and you don't think they're gonna reach out to you at this time yeah and you don't want to fight or argue you don't like that energy between you two of fights disagreements anger but this shows that you really want to uh find some kind of completion here like something is unfinished between you two so if you feel it they feel it as well universe please show us um what's coming towards cancerians in their life and how is cancer currently doing on their summit journey oh my goodness i'm so sorry you're going through so much this is you deeply emotionally disappointed that this didn't work out um feeling a lot of regret, heartbreak. This is you thinking this person doesn't love you, doesn't care about you emotionally. That's what you think. That's your perception of this situation right now, as far as they are concerned. So you're looking at their cup, which represents emotions. Cups represent emotions, feelings. Uh, their cup is broken. So your perception of this person at this point towards you is that they don't love you. They gave up on you. They walked away and they done with you. Your cup is not broken, but it's empty. It's not filled with liquid. So you still love this person secretly, but you're not letting them know. You're holding it to yourself. As a matter of fact, because of the way it showed up, 
you don't want anybody to know that you still love this person it's like you are holding it inside so you feel love and disappointment heartbreak at the same time you were hoping to see this person to somehow make amends with them to have some kind of emotional closure but you doubt it's going to happen because this is reversed. It's like you almost, at this point, you're so disappointed. In a way, you feel like it. Do, you hope it doesn't happen anymore. Like you used to wish it would happen. And now uh, it feels like you are so disappointed you don't want it anymore. This person is checking up on you quite regularly. Yeah, they're checking up on you. There's a lot they want to tell you, but they're holding back. Uh, they, they want to clear the air with you, but they're holding back. Wow. <clears throat> so, Cancerians, um, this person feels like maybe they misjudged the situation or mishandled the situation. This means apologies, peace offerings. Hmm. Look, three pages showed up out of four. One, two, three pages. You're trying to distract your mind with your job, your business, investments. Oh my goodness. You so disappointed. Look at this. This is you deeply heartbroken. You feel like this is symbolic, of course. This is you not telling anyone how deeply heartbroken you feel. And this is you viewing them as walking away from you, as letting you go. Um, wow, something serious happened between you two because the devil is showing up here with apologies card. So something serious happened, Cancerian, where this person feels enormous amount of guilt, regret, heartbreak. Yeah, something was mishandled, uh, misjudged greatly, you see. Something was... Uh, done wrong and it needed to uh, clear up uh, so that way you can see you can take a break from each other and see if there's anything else you can do together to have a fresh new chapter or uh, just release each other with forgiveness or on peaceful grounds you see you both feel this tension between you two unresolved tension heartbreak so something serious happened for this to show up these two cards to show up in the same spread means that um there was some kind of betrayal whether there was a third party or affair or serious lie or deceit something serious happened where uh betrayal is showing up here yeah wow Let's see, Cancerians. Let's see with this uh, card. And then we're going to do reading on your soulmate. Universe, please show us. Wow, the energy is so heavy. I can breathe. Something serious happened. Universe, please show us um, what's coming towards Cancer. And how is Cancer currently doing on this soulmate journey? This is you trying to concentrate, um, occupy your mind with other things in your life. <clears throat> yeah, you concentrating on your job, your health, your loved ones. Yeah, so it looks like your soulmate has been in and out, in and out, in and out of your life. More out of your life than in your life. They're checking up on you. They're heavily checking up on you. Curious what's going on with you. Wow, you are respected at your job, but you have some fake people at your job. Yeah, you have some um, um, people that create drama for others. Continue concentrating on your job. You, you showing up here as resourceful, diligent worker, bringing profit in, uh, success, financial success showing up here through your diligent work. So continue doing what you're doing. Keep being proactive, passionate about your job, even if you don't like uh, the people you work with because it sh they showed up, some of them showed up as very uh, jealous towards you. Yeah, so you know if people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Continue doing what you've been doing. Keep being proactive. 
let's see what's going on with your soulmate cancerians universe please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer for cancer's highest good please universe the soulmate of cancer the soulmate of cancer what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time wow this rarely happens <laughs> well i tried to divide into two parts and the last part has only two cards which is what i need anyway this one is trying to hide from me so let's see what's going on with your soulmate <clears throat> wow they're going through major changes this is more like spiritual rebirth this is them looking at their life objectively making necessary changes uh, internal changes this speaks of spiritual rebirth maybe the way they view relationships with other people in their life yeah how they communicate this person has a lot of fear unanswered questions yeah <clears throat> they want to approach you with communication so again page of wands for the second time this stands for unexpected communication quick communication out of nowhere this person wants to so badly reach out to you communicate with you but they scared they have a lot of fear yeah you see this person is hoping wishing that you would reach out to them uh, this person has a lot of feelings all sorts of feelings in this situation with you they're very emotional uh, they scared that if they reach out to you first and uh, they don't think you want to hear from them uh, that you may view them as needing you emotionally or as being emotionally vulnerable in the situation which they are but they don't want you to know that so they were hoping or are hoping that you're going to break down and initiate this communication first make it easy on them wow this is how they view you holding empress energy whether you're male or female so this person has a lot of respect for you for not chasing them for not being desperate for their attention they know you don't need anybody to support you emotionally financially yeah this person views you as someone with integrity high standards hmm universe please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how's the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time i feel i need to shuffle more though universe please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how's the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time wow so this person is going through some major changes also with family major shifts this person wants to see you yeah communicate yeah look how how badly they wish for this to happen to communicate with you see you you see nine of cups nine of cups twice wish fulfillment death death you both are going through major changes you both are going through major spiritual awakening because of this connection um breaking up and not being fully over like there is unresolved issues you see look how scared they are so this is them petrified of reaching out but they want to they want to be brave enough they have to have enough courage to reach out to you that's what they're looking for to have the courage to reach out to you first they are stressed out this person is um very busy with the job or business they have a lot of uh, weight on their shoulders responsibilities of the job of business yeah i see this is them trying to heal um this is them trying to be patient in this situation hoping that something will change where the two of you have a chance to communicate they feel very unresolved emotionally uh, in this situation not able to make sense of their feelings so they feel a lot of different feelings they feel love they feel disappointment they feel uh, heartbreak yeah so a lot of unresolved feelings um, they're trying to make sense of things and they think that they will need to communicate with you let's see universe please show us what's going on currently with the summit of cancer and how's the summit of cancer towards cancer at this time wow 
deep attraction for you. They want to see you. So this often means apologies, peace offerings, gifts, face-to-face -face communication. You see, this person doesn't want you to know they are emotionally vulnerable in this situation with you. They want to, they know they are at a crossroads and they're going to have to find a way to reach out to you, but they don't want to look like they need you. Yeah, uh, this person is very careful not to show emotions um, that they are vulnerable. Um, they want to uh, approach you for communication. Yeah, they're spying on you, checking up on you quite regularly to see what's going on in your life. Anyway, they can. They're checking up on you. Let's see one more. You see, they want to uh, be brave enough to initiate this communication with you. So they're not able to totally release you, Cancerians. Yeah, they want to see you. Um... They don't know what's going to happen, though. They're not sure how you feel about them at this time. So, Cancerians, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what are they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And, of course, at the end... We're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Cancerians, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.